I'm Dr. John Dishler, and this is my first patient smile experience, the first patient done in the United States. It was done on March 3rd, 2017. Here the patient's been brought into the operating room and already prepped and draped, and the anesthetic drop has been placed. I am now going to place an eyelid speculum that will hold the eye open while the procedure is being performed. The patient's bed will then be raised, as you can see here, until there's contact with the contact glass, and you can see this in the monitor as well. Finally, the procedure is begun, and you can see the cutting of the posterior cut of the lenticle, which is the most important since this is the refractive power cut. After this, the anterior cap cut will be made, and finally the entry cut. Once this is all completed, the suction is released, and the patient is lowered down and then moved to the treatment position. Here the patient is in the treatment position, and I am using the relax dissector to first enter the small incision and define the two planes that I'm going to separate. The anterior plane first, as you can see here, and then on the other side of the incision, going a little deeper to the posterior plane. Once these planes have been defined, the relax dissector is flipped over to the other side, and the spatulated end is used to separate these planes. First, I am separating the anterior plane, starting where I've already defined it, and then using a windshield washer type movement in order to complete the separation. We want to be careful not to create any injury to any of the delicate ocular structures, and the patient cannot feel any of this due to the topical anesthesia drops. Here you can see this is being completed, and then once it is completed, we will then move to the posterior plane. The deeper refractive plane is now completed in separation as well as the internal side cut. We move all the way around to be careful that we've completely separated the lenticle and it is freely able to be removed with a pair of forceps. The forceps we use here are the DSEK forceps and these are placed inside this pocket and the lenticle is removed and you can see it's placed here on the cornea. There are no tags and thus the procedure is fully completed. Here's an instant replay of that same maneuver where the lenticle is removed and then placed on the cornea to be sure that it is complete. And thus we've finished the procedure. We do irrigate at the end with a small amount of fluid, which is BSS, through a cannula, and then stroke the cornea once or twice just to be sure there are no microstria. And thus the procedure is completed. Thank you very much for watching.